on the arraignment of Idris Okunaye, popularly known as Bobriski. My way from that, let's turn to the nation's capital, where President Bola Tinubu is reassuring Nigerians that the country's economy is at a turning point, but will require the steadfast support of the private sector for sustained growth and prosperity. The president said this during Iftar on Thursday in Abuja with members of the Nigerian business community, where he expressed gratitude for their support and pledged to engage with them more frequently. State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. The Ramadan Iftar has been another opportunity for President Tinubu to meet critical stakeholders in various sectors of the country. This time he's breaking fast with the organized private sector, a group whose support he considers to be tremendously valuable to ensure sustained growth and prosperity in the country. But the president insists that he cannot afford to underperform given the trust placed in him by the electorate. Nigeria is a self-believer and can always deliver on its own. Our first name is Spirit, our last name is Kandu. Go to go. We have to do it, and that's why you are here in this room. I drag the time, you no know, wanting to listen to hear you out. We will call again, so that we can embrace the reason. We want to share with your president. You voluntarily elected me. I campaigned for it. I got it. I have no excuse but perform. The people here who have come to wine and dine with President Tinubu are industrialists, bank executives, manufacturers, and entrepreneurs. They assured the president of support from the organized private sector and also acknowledged the sincere efforts made by the president and his team to revamp the economy and enhance the ease of doing business. What we've done is to show statesmanship. You are thinking of Nigeria, not of Nigeria of today, but Nigeria also of the future. I will thank you, Mr. President, for this. I have to report to you that the ease of doing business is coming back gradually. Nigerians are very intelligent people. If you leave them, they do what they like. And that's what you notice. If you hold them, show them the way, they do the right things. So I thank you for what you're doing. And I want to say on behalf of all of us, we are ready because we have seen light at the end of the tunnel. This kind of feedback might be a soothing balm for President Tinubu as he walks to turn the tides of economic hardship towards the path of steady growth and prosperity. The president is always quick to admit that he needs the support of everyone because he cannot afford to fail Nigerians. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. And also at the presidential villa, the Global Vaccine Alliance, Gavi, has announced its commitment to providing $250 million grant support to Nigeria, as well as its dedication to addressing vaccine inequity in Africa. This was disclosed at a meeting with a delegation of Gavi, led by its chief executive officer, Dr. Senia Nishta, and President Tinubu at the State House. Gavi delegation said the plans will be achieved through initiatives like the African Vaccine Manufacturing Accelerator, which has earmarked $1 billion to support the sustainable growth of Africa's manufacturing base for vaccine production. President Tinubu called on Gavi the Vaccine Alliance, to collaborate with potential Nigerian vaccine manufacturers to ensure equitable access to life-saving vaccines for children and adults. He directed the Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Professor Mohamed Ali Pate, to work with the Coordinating Minister of Economy and Minister of Finance 
to ensure the release of necessary funds for vaccine procurement. This is my 13th day as the CEO of Gavi. Uh, and um, I wanted to come to Nigeria as one of my first visits to a partnering country because Nigeria is a hugely important country for Gavi. We have a special strategy for engagement with Nigeria. In addition, a very important event is uh, forthcoming uh, in, on June the 20th, which is the launch of the African Vaccine Manufacturing Accelerator, uh, as well as the launch of the Gavi's investment case for the next five years. In the context of this administration, I think this conversation that we have just had with Mr. President reaffirmed the alignment in our direction between what the President is directing us as part of the Renewed Hope Agenda to do to ensure that no child is left behind to deliver the miracle of vaccines to all our children and all those who need them across their life course. We're staying in the nation's capital. The National 